as you can see on the right hand side. Uh, so there are three key elements. Um, at the bottom level, you got the prospective resources, and in the middle, you have contingent resources, and the top are reserves. Those all three are very distinct, and uh, it's very important to discriminate and un understand the disparity between each one. At the bottom, you got the prospective resources. These are related to exploration. And uh, there are three elements in there. You, you can have a play. Play is something like in Africa, East Africa. Uh, it's kind of virgin territory, um, Greenland, or even uh, Antarctica. Um, you might have a play out there in geological terms. And that's at the lowest level in terms of uh, what you know of the area. So uh, at the next level, you've got uh, uh, what's called a lead, where you have some more information. And then you can um, uh, use that uh, to go ahead and uh, uh, evaluate if there is any oil and gas in that uh, area or region. And the highest level is if you've got additional information, like geophysical information, uh, 3D, 3D seismics you might have heard of, and then uh, you uh, assess those prospects and high grade some of them, and you may drill one of them. And that's uh, the exploration prospect. Does the 1C, 2C, 3C follow the same probabilities like 90, 50, and 10 uh, percentages in terms of general yeah, that, that's, levels? That, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, that's absolutely right. It's, uh, when you use probabilistic uh, methods to calculate the volumes, uh, that's correct. Okay, thank you. The volumes that you have found, they will remain in this contingent category. And the contingent category, contingent resource category, also has three uh, range ranges. So 1C, 2C, 3C. And these could be valued anywhere from a dollar to maybe three dollars. It really depends where you are, uh, or four dollars per barrel. Uh, so you can see the difference already. You made a discovery from your exploration, you move to the contingent, the value is already increased. So once you've got your field development plan in place and everyone has approved it and all the, all the elements are in place, in other words, the stakeholders are um, aligned, then you can move ahead and go ahead and develop the field. And then that's the only time you can have reserves. 